Hello back to Boss Tutorials, my name is Matt and I'm going to be starting a new series here um, on some basics of Photoshop. So in the first few episodes we're going to start with some basic stuff such as just merging pictures together. Um, so that's very basic but very fun as well. So uh, we'll be starting with stuff like that and then we'll get into more complicated stuff such as color correction and all kinds of fun stuff like that later on. Um, so yeah, let's start with some picture merging. Here I have a picture of a farm, just something nice and basic, looks nice, and uh, it's very easy to mess with stuff like this too. It's not too complicated. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another picture that I've taken from the internet. This is a UFO picture. I just hit enter there. So so we're just doing fun stuff, obviously. But so I've got my picture in here. Now what I'm going to want to do is cut the background out from this UFO picture. So I have the layer selected over here on, on the right side, my UFO picture. But the problem with this, and you're going to see in a sec, if I try to highlight something and delete it, it says that I uh, it's a smart object. So you'll run into this problem a lot if you're doing a lot of uh, editing in Photoshop. What you want to do, let's just deselect that. All you want to do is go to Edit, um, come down here to, oh sorry, no, you want to go to Layer, and then come down here to rasterize smart object while well, you have that layer selected and it'll fix that for you so you can edit it now um, so now what you're gonna wanna do is highlight the background but not the ship so as you see I've kind of highlighted the top of the ship by accident uh, what I'm gonna wanna do to fix that is hold alt and it'll show a minus sign instead and then I can just kind of unhighlight things as well I want those in there too. Alright, doesn't have to be perfect, but that's pretty good. Um, so for that I was just using the quick selection tool and it allowed me to select the background. And now that I have it selected, I can just hit backspace and it'll delete the background for me. And now since I have this dotted line, I can do control D. It'll get rid of that. Um, now sometimes this happens as well with the quick selection tool. It's a bit of a pain, but... Uh, you'll have this little board around the outside to get rid of that. You just want to just grab the eraser tool and just erase any edges that you see. Okay, so there we go. Now we have our UFO picture here. Now it's a little bit big for, for what I was going for. So if you do Control T, that's for transform. So you can change the size and rotate and everything. So if you hover outside the corner here, you can rotate the image and you can change the size of it just by dragging the corners uh, just like that so that's a pretty good UFO shot there I'm just gonna hit enter and there it is right there um, so now I'm gonna drag in another picture here I have a PNG which basically means it's already been cut out for you so it's a good shortcut and this is just a cow uh, so I've dragged that in and we're just gonna make it nice and small here like so and that's that's pretty good okay so hit enter and it'll unselect that and now what I'm gonna do just to add to the effect I'm gonna switch to my brush tool and for a color I'll just kinda do that's a good color just a light greenish yellow kinda thing and okay and now up here in the opacity uh, it'll probably start at 100%. I've done a little bit of practice. So you just bring it down to maybe 20, 25 ish, around there. And. Okay. Um, so once you bring it down, then you can just start coloring with your paintbrush there. And there. And you'll be able to undo that. You can kind of make a tractor beam kind of effect there. Just like so. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Okay. So there. I've kind of got that tractor beam thing going on. Um, as you see, it kind of goes over the ground there a little bit, which messes up the effects. We can switch to our eraser tool. And a little too much. There. Just smoothing it out along the ground there. And perfect. So now that we've got that, we're going to throw in another picture. Here I have this picture. Uh, so this is a picture of an old tractor. So it'll just look 
nice outside the farm so we'll just make it a little bigger and this is another smart object so you'd have to rasterize it but it just did it automatically there for me uh, so we'll just switch let's if you hold down click on this quick selection tool you can switch to your magic wand tool and with that you can just select one big area much quicker um, if you hold alt and scroll up you can zoom in now it's gonna by default be on this selection up here uh, you're gonna want to click this one instead so switch it to this and what that will allow you to do is instead of just selecting one thing and then when you click something else it'll re select that thing instead it you can select multiple things with this now so if I click something else there that's selected too so I'm just gonna select all the white spots just like so okay now I'm not gonna get too detailed with this uh, it just doesn't matter too much but you know if you're if you're trying to make it very accurate then take a little more time uh, oops accidentally select some control Z and unselect that and well, there's a couple things up here and I'll zoom in a little more to get these easier there's one thing down there okay that's pretty good so now that I have all that selected I'm just gonna hit backspace there we go nice and easy to delete it all now now that I've deleted that I can see I did miss a few spots so I can still select those and hit backspace again and it'll get rid of them um, so now that I've done that you can control D and that'll get rid of the dotted line uh, and there we go so now we have our tractor here but that doesn't look too great so I'm just gonna first of all I'm gonna transform it with control T which will bring up this box so I can change the size Let's make it like that. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. There. Okay, so now that we have where I want it, I'll just hit enter to get a transform there. And that already doesn't look too bad. Um, of course, we can get really detailed with this. One of my favorite things to do to make it like there's a bunch of white down there where the uh, the pictures just was so we can use the eraser tool uh, right here and basically we can just switch to a kind of smooth brush up here and obviously you can change the size of it right there so once we do that just kinda of doing this it'll make it look like the grass is growing up on the side of the wheels there there we go and get rid of that ugly white effect that we had going on and we don't want to do that because it covers that up so just leave that but yeah that's pretty easy effect to do and it works very well let's cover that up that's pretty good okay so there we have a a pretty basic um, editing of the tractor now you can get very complicated with this, uh, such as adding color correction, lots of cool stuff like that. And I think we will get into stuff like that next episode. Um, so that's just very basic, but thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any suggestions for anything else you want to know how to do, uh, just some basic stuff, I'll be able to help you out. Or just anything more complicated as well. I can... Uh, I can help you out with that as well. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.